This is Legacy's second in the series of videos on how to uh, use Legacy's Conversational Cam Pro and the lathe type turning process. We can simply draw a vector like we did in the last class, and here we used a one inch diameter core box or extended core box and just turn that like a copy lathe, really simple. No need to, to model a project. In this class, we're going to take this to the next step and we're going to look at something like this where it's got uh, more detail to it and so using a larger cutter like we did on the other one is not going to work. So instead of using a large core box bit, we're simply going to go to a smaller cutter. Now this is a this is an amazing turning and carving bit. It's actually got a half inch shank. It's uh, it's, it's very long. It's got a three degree taper and an eighth inch tip on the bottom, eighth inch diameter. We use it for carving really heavy carvings or for turning and doing things like this with the small small details. So in this case, we're going to use two router bits. One is a surface planing bit just to turn the stock round, and then the second one is we'll come back and cut this. If you look at our dimensions on this, you notice that I don't, I don't require any dimensions um, other than the size of the blank, because this toolpath is created within Vetric, either a VCAR Pro or Spire, and whatever the dimensions are here and the and the positions and everything go directly into Conversational Cam Pro and convert to a turning process like a copy lathe. So we don't need a lot of dimensions in here. It's, it's going to be pretty fast and easy. Uh, you, we drew the whole thing up like you're, you're going to see it as it's turned, but in reality we only have to work with this one single vector. And this green node right here is of course the starting point, so we're going to cut on the left hand side of this line to do this tool path. Uh, we're going to use a, a profile tool path because we're drawing in 2D like we're cutting in a flat part, but it is going to turn it like a lathe. So in order to use the bit, we have to use a particular bit that's going to match that 8 inch diameter tapered ball nose. And in our tool database, which you can download from our website, it has tools that are called the Vector Turning, or G200. And these are for uh, conversational cam pro systems. And so you simply pick the diameter. This one here, for example, is an eighth inch in diameter. Now it looks nothing like a core box bit. It actually looks like a, looks like a flat nose bit. We don't care. We don't care about the number of flutes. We don't care about the pass diameter. We don't care about the step over speed, or spindle speed, feed rate. None of that matters at all. All we care about is the diameter of this particular cutter. And so we'll select this and you notice that you can set this depth up to one inch and it doesn't matter. I'm going to, I'm going to set it 4.5. It'll be easy to see. Um, and it'll always do it in one pass. You want to make sure it's one pass using that cutter. And we don't want to cut right on the line with the center of the bit. We're going to cut on the left side of the line. So we'll choose this inside slash, slash left. Okay. At this point, we just give it a name. So I'm going to call it a single bit vector, vector turning toolpath. And then when you preview it, you can see that's what it's going to look like. Of course, it's going to cut on the other side. It's going to turn it, not going to cut on the other side, but it's going to turn that with this shape. So now that we have that, no need to create any kind of model or do anything like that. Just save out this tool path. Okay, and we're going to use the three axis. This is the Delta uh, uh, post processor. So it's a three axis, not a four axis, even though we're turning. And we're going to go ahead and select that and save this out. And I'm going to put it into my, oh, right here, we got a, a folder already open. This is going to be my single bit vector turning tool path. So we'll save that. Next, we simply go into Conversational Cam Pro. And this is where the magic happens. All right. So we'll go into projects. Now, in the last class, I actually created a new project that was called the G200 Copulate Demo and select that and now it shows over here well that's the project the copy laid demo here's the part that we created last time so if i go into manage parts and we have to we have to select the workstation first now we go into manage parts we have one here that we programmed in the last class and so it was called the simple 
turning G code. I'm going to create a new part, okay, and we'll make it. How big are we going to make this? Let's go back and check our dimensions on this guy real quickly. We're going to make it inch and three quarters. We're actually going to go inch and seven eighths, and we're going to turn it down to inch and a three quarter by 12 inches long. Okay, so we'll say this is going to be the single bit uh, turning. I'll call it G200 symbol. Okay, and it's going to be 12 inches long and 1.875. We're going to turn it to one and three quarters, so we'll start a little bit larger. And this is a square, multi-sided part, so it's got uh, four sides. We just start with a square blank and say OK. And now we can just close this. You notice now under the turning center we have two parts. The first one was just that very simple process, very simple curve. This one's a little bit more detail using a single cutter, a smaller cutter. So once we click on that part, we can click on Manage Tool Paths. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the turning tool path. We're going to turn it round. So we'll add that to the list. These are the tool paths we're going to create. And then I'm going to add the second one, which is the import the vector turning. Uh, and that's the G code that we created in, in Vectric uh, software. So I'll add that. So we're going to, we're going to do, use these two um, processes right here. So they're red. That means they haven't been programmed. So we'll click on the first one, round. And we'll go through and click on the tool right here, and we'll select the surface planing bit. Now, if you're new to Legacy and our turning center, this is the bit you want to use anytime you're turning something around. The industry standard has a taper on the bottom, and it works great on flat stock, terrible on turning. These bits by Magnate are ground perfectly flat so that it gives us a beautiful finish. It's like you've sanded the part when you get it off the machine. So we'll select that, and we'll say that's our tool number one. It's asking here, has it been turned around? And I'm going to say, no, we have to take off those corners. Okay, the starting position, we're going to start at zero. And we're going to turn this to 1.75. And we're going to end at 12. So that's just turning it around with this cutter. And again, I like to speed up these uh, feed rates, just the, the rough pass feed rate and the finish pass feed rate. Those numbers that are in there are very conservative. They'll work just fine. If you're brand new, use them. But as you get used to it uh, and want to you know, cut a little faster, be a little more productive, you'll just increase the speed. And we'll do that there. So this is the code. When I click on Generate the G code, that'll turn it round to 1 and 3 quarters inch in diameter. Now we'll click on the vector turning. It's the other one that's not programmed yet. And the first one says select a G code file from Vetri. So if I go into, uh, let's go into our drive here, Shared Drive Projects. And I saved it in this uh, G200 video right here in the G code. Okay, so that's the one we're going to use. Now we get to choose whether we're turning or indexing it, and it's going to be turning because we're using it as a copy lathe. The RPM is set for 200. That's perfect. We're going to leave it like that. And we have turned this part to 1.75 inches in diameter. And now it's asking, what tool are you going to do the, the turning with? not surfacing it around, but actually copying the, the profile. And so we're going to click on this select tool and we're going to choose the tapered ball nose. And this one right here is the eighth inch diameter. It's a half inch shank. Uh, this is the cutter we want. It's an amazing cutter. All right, so we'll choose that. And well, we can, we can assign any tool we want as long as it's not number one because we use number one to begin with. Now this is asking if we want a mirror, if we want to uh, move it, and we don't want to do that. We just want to cut it exactly like we drew it in uh, Vetric software. So we're going to use this automate or auto calculate rather the step over. That'll give us a beautiful finish. We don't have to to guess how far we're going to step over for each rotation. It just calculates that automatically. If you said no, you could put in a number, and I would use that to rough cut if I wanted to step over. You know, with a large cutter, I might step over a half inch per rotation or a quarter inch or something crazy, just to waste the material off. But in this case, we'll say auto calculate. It's going to give us the best finish. And then we'll just click finish and save. And then we just generate this code. Okay, and there's the turning. And then this is the section that acts like the copy lathe and turns that automatically. Let me open this up a little bit. Okay, so that wraps up this video on just using a single tool to cut the details and the contour. Uh, again, you could make two tool paths and use two tools in here, but we decided not to change the tool, make it fast and easy. You'll, and uh, that'll be simple. In the next one, 
we are going to use router bit profiles to form these details here and here, and then we'll do the contour turning on this section to show you how it all comes together. So we'll catch you in the next video.